The courage to be disliked. Do you have the courage to be disliked? As humans, it's one of our greatest fears to not be liked by people. To the point, we let it dictate our life, the way we live our life, what we should do, what we shouldn't do, what we should wear, what we shouldn't wear. And this way of living, it's not a fulfilling way of living where you are being your true self, where you are aligned with who you truly are. You're just following what everyone else is doing, what you've been told by your parents when you were young, what you were told by society, by teachers. All of these things, you go along what is expected of you because you don't want to upset people, because you you don't want to be seen as the weird one, the odd one out, because you don't have the courage to be disliked, as harsh as it sounds. And I, I fall a victim to this. I was that girl who didn't have the courage to be disliked. I wanted to fit in to everything. I wanted to feel validation. I wanted approval from my parents, from teachers, from my work colleagues, from my boss. But let me tell you this, living in this way is living according to how other people want you to live your life. They are dictating the way you should live your life. And at some point you may realize that you are not happy because you've been living your life according to other people's standards and you need to wake up. Now, don't get me wrong. This isn't about let's rebel, let's become uncivilized, let's cause riots and go against the system and do silly things. No, 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 no. This isn't about that. Let's not get this twisted. This is about... when you are following traditions, cultures that don't align with who you really are, but you're only doing things to please people. You're only doing things for validation and approval because you are so scared to be disliked by people. You want to fit in. And this is for many reasons, which I'm gonna get into in this video, but I hope this video can encourage you to not be scared about being who you really are, even if that means people may dislike you. Because the truth is, not everyone's gonna like you, and that's okay. Where does this fear of not being disliked by, of not being liked by people come from? We, inherently within us, we want to be part of a group, we want to be liked. It comes from the tribe mentality, where back in the days, You had to be part of a tribe community to survive because of predators and safety or else you'd be eaten alive. So you had to be part of a tribe for your safety. But in the modern day, we don't have these dangers exposed to us now. So that's why we don't need it. We don't need to be in groups to protect ourselves as much. But it's inherently within us to be liked by people so we are part of the community for safety, to protect us, to feel like we are in a safe place. And the other reason that we are afraid to be disliked by people, for people who are very insecure, for people who have very low low self-confidence, low self-esteem, and I was one of them. I'm putting my hands up. I was one of them. I had, I, growing up, I had very low self-esteem about many different reasons. When you have low self-esteem, when you don't think you are good enough, that you are worthy enough, guess what? You are always going to seek externally for validation to make you feel good because you don't feel good in yourself. So you're always going to look out there from your boyfriend, from the teacher, from co-workers to be, give, to give you that tap pat on the back and say, you're doing a good job. You're fantastic. To the point where you're relying on these external validation all the time because you are so insecure in yourself. When you don't have the confidence in yourself and who you are as a person, you, there is more of a tendency to people please, to do as people tell you to, because you don't think you are good enough alone. The truth is people who are living their life according to how other people want them to, whether that's tradition, culture, 
all of these things that can influence our decisions that we make in our life and the way we choose to live our life, more often than not, they will, they will not be happy. They will feel miserable. They will feel a gap in their life that they are not living a life true to themselves, to their full potential. But because they're petrified about people's opinion and judgment, they're so scared to even question the way they live their life. Like some people I know would rather live in the misery, live in the comfort zone, although it's painful, although they may not be happy, rather than to question if it's something that they really want, if this is the life that they really want. For so long, I was living my life, too long, too long, <laughs> according to how everybody else around me wanted to live my life. My parents, society, culture, tradition, religion, all of these things from the way I dressed, from what I looked like, being a woman, there were so many specific things to follow, so many rules and this and that, and I'm like, oh, to the point I eventually, I had an awakening and I was like, oh my gosh, most of my life, I've been living my life according to how other people want me to live my life. But those people are not gonna live my life for me and I'm gonna get into that in a minute. So I realized that it's so important and it's so, I cannot even explain to you that our life here is so precious and I really don't want you to take it for granted. And it's a reminder to myself as well that we only have a limited time here. I know I'm getting all serious, but it's the truth. We only have a limited time here, my lovelies. And what you do with your time here is so important. We only get one shot. You're not gonna get two. I wish we did. I wish we did. I wish we could live forever, but we are not. So what you do with your time is so important. If you want to live your best life, if you want to be someone who is achieving the best to their full potential, then you will have to live in a way which may not like to be other people, which may upset people, people may dislike you. And the point of this video is to tell you that it's okay. It's really okay that people may not like you and dislike you. The main thing is that you are happy with the way you live, with the decisions that you make. So my first point is to have the courage to be disliked is to understand point number one, that you, not anybody else, you, not your parents, not the teachers, you will have to live with the life choices that you make. Although we are influenced by society, culture, traditions, our parents, teachers, etc., etc. You know what? At the end of, end of the day, it's you that will have to live with those choices. Your parents are not going to live your life for you. They will move on. Your children are not going to live your life for you. They will move on. <laughs> you know, your teachers who can influence you and impact you, of course, we love teachers, they're great. The point I'm trying to make is, remember that although you are influenced by traditions and culture that you should do this, that you shouldn't do that, that you should behave this way, you shouldn't go for that job, remember that ultimately it's you that will live your life. I mean, I'm over the age of 40 and for all those years that I took into consideration for people that told me not to do this and told me not to do that so that I don't upset people, so that I don't upset family members, where are they? Where are they? It's me who has to live with those choices that I made. Everyone can say something. It's easy to chat and to advise but when actually, when the shit hits the fan, it's you that's going to have to live with those choices. And that's why it's so important to remember. It's okay if people don't like your life choices and dislike you for certain things. Because it's you that's going to live with your life choices. And so long as you are okay with it, that's the main thing. The courage to be disliked by people. 
Point number two is you need to set boundaries with people. You know, I always say this in my videos, the way people treat you is how you treat yourself. You need to teach people how to treat you. You need to learn to say no to people. If you don't want to do something, just say no. For me, these days, no is a default for a lot of things <laughs> until I really want to do something. And this is coming from someone who was the biggest people pleaser. Okay. I'm telling you, you know, I was so insecure in myself and I found it so hard to say no. I, I was that yes girl, yes to everything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Everything. Yes to everything because I just didn't want to upset people because I was not confident in who I was and people would take advantage of me. People would take advantage of my niceness in work environments, in relationships. All of these factors play a part. If you do not learn to set boundaries, people will walk over you. Understand that your time is valuable. And if you don't show people that your time is valuable, people will take it for granted. So before you say yes to something, think about, do you really do, want to do this thing? Are you doing it because you really want to? Or are you doing it because you don't want to upset certain people? You want to fit in? You don't want to be the odd one out? Make sure you ask yourself these questions before you say yes. Sometimes when you are too available, people will get used to that. They get used to you being around them all the time and they can take that for granted. So if you feel like you are being taken advantage of by people, remove yourself. Be a bit more not available all the time. And then people will start to value, value you more because they will see that you value yourself and your time. People will treat you the way you treat yourself. So always remember that. And this doesn't mean say no to everybody who we care about and the people that need me. Like I have elderly parents and I have to attend to them as and when needed. No, this doesn't mean don't support and help people that actually really need you. No, this means set boundaries with people who you know that may take advantage of you, like people at work or in relationships. All of these things make sure that you know how to differentiate differentiate between people who may take advantage of you to people who actually really need you. Be selective about how you spend your time and who you spend your time with. And guess what? People may not like you in the beginning. They may, they may be surprised that suddenly you're saying no. They will have to get used to this new version of you. And it's okay because... Remember that every time you say no to something, you are saying yes to something else. And you could do something that's more valuable to you with that time. Remember, your time is precious. You can get money back. You can get other things back. But time is something that you will never get back. I wish we could buy time, but we can't. And that's why it's so important. You are selective with how you spend your time and who you spend your time with and don't let people take advantage of you. Get focused in your life and be clear about what you want and don't let people distract you from getting what you want. The next point, point number three, is to remember that, you know, people will always judge you all the time. Even if they like you or dislike you, People will always judge you. They will put their perspective on you. They will make their projections on you. And you need to understand the way you have the courage to be disliked is you need to understand that people's perspective, people's views, people's opinions on things, it's got nothing to do with you. It's got nothing to do with you. People are always going to judge. And some people secretly don't want to see you succeed. That's the reality. People focus on the negative more, more than they do on the positive. That's the way we are built. It's the reality of the way we are as human, unfortunately. So many people focus on more of the negatives than the positive. You have to understand the reason why people's opinions is not a reflection of you. It's because everyone has been brought up 
in their own different way. It all depends on how, who and the environment they were brought up in. That has influenced their mindset, the way they think and what they judge things on. And you cannot control how people think. That's none of your business. If you go down that route of trying to change people's mind and opinions about you, that's a losing battle. You know, that's something I had to learn the hard way. Of I had to stop trying to get people's approval and their judgment to like me. You know, because people are going to think what they want to think anyway. If you live your life according to how other people want you to and their approve their judgments and their approval, you are going to live a life of imprisonment. You know, this is not a healthy way to live and this is not a joyous, fulfilling way to live. It's a life living with misery, constantly caring what people think. What people think is none of your business and is out of your control. So the sooner you can learn to let go and care so much about what people think, you will feel like a sense of freedom in a way that you don't have to take into consideration so much about what people think. Of course, if people who are close to you and you know that are going to give you genuine feedback, you know, we all have those one or two people who we really trust. Of course, we, we do care about their opinion because we know they've got our best interest in their heart. But majority of people who you really care, who you really don't know out there, like, you know, work colleagues and um, acquaintances, you cannot control what they think. That's one thing we, you cannot control and you're wasting your time. If you spend so much time caring what people think, that's a waste of your energy. You can do better things with that energy than, care, than caring what these strangers, these people think. You need to really get comfortable with not caring what people think of you because there are going to people, remember that there are going to be people who will always judge you whether you do something good or bad. So you may as well do what you want because people are going to judge you anyway. Next point, number four is in order to have the courage to be disliked by people, the best way to do this is to become confident, to become confident and have self-belief in yourself. This is hands down the best way. The people who I see that are confident in who they are, they are themselves unapologetically living their life true to themselves. These are the people who don't care what people have got to say about them. They won't start to feel insecure in who they are just because someone said something negative about them. They are conf they have become confident in who they are and they believe in themselves. If you can work on becoming confident, honestly, this is a game changer for everything in your life. I feel like confidence is the root to everything, to success, to getting that relationship, all of these things. It all comes down to you becoming confident. Once you are confident in yourself, you're less likely to seek validation and approval in others. It's okay not to be liked by everyone because guess what? I bet you don't like everyone in this world. I bet you dislike certain people. It's impossible for everyone to like you. I don't know about you, but I rather be true to who I am. And if people don't like that, that's up to them. Then be liked for someone who I'm really not, because that's not being true to who I am. And that's not sustainable. And that's not going to make me happy. And that's why it's so important, my lovelies, that you work on becoming confident. You work on building your self-esteem because that way you're not going to care about what people want because you are confident in who you are. You're not going to always seek validation from people and approval. You don't need that. You are happy with who you are. And for me, that is the, the best place to be in, being confident and happy with who you are, even if people dislike it. And you know what the ironic thing is? When you become someone who is confident, 
when you become someone who stops caring what people think of you, when you're not constantly looking for validation and approval from others, the irony is that this is when people actually like you. You know, when we see those people who are so confident and they're just strutting their stuff and they don't care what you say, they're being their weird quirk self unapologetically, we can't help but like these people. They're like magnets, they're sexy. It's because they have the courage to be themselves and to be disliked. You know, they have this mentality of, this is who I am, like it or leave it, I don't care, but this is who I am. And people love that. People love people who are confident. We want a piece of that. We are inspired by a piece of that. So although, although, you know, it may seem like, being harsh, to not care what people think and doing your own thing. But when you actually become confident, when you stop caring what people think, when you stop looking for validation and approval from others, that is when people actually like you. That is when people want to know more about you. That's when in relationships, guys want to know more about you because your confidence and confidence is so sexy. Everybody finds that sexy. I find that sexy in guys. That is what takes you through everything in life, in life, in my opinion. The most important thing is that you are living a life that's true to yourself. Are you living a life that you really want to? Have a think about these things. Before you say yes to something, question whether if you're doing this thing because you really want to or is it because other people want you to? Remember that this fear that we get, the fear of being disapproved by people, it's inherently within us, but it doesn't mean you can't change that. The most important thing is that we only have a very short amount of time in this world. I know it sounds a bit dramatic, but the most important thing is that you are living your best life according to how you want to, not how others want you to. And so long as you are happy with how you live your life, that's the most important thing. Whether that is following, following tradition or not, that's up to you. But whether you are actually happy living the way you want, doing the things that you want, being who you want, that's what matters at the end of the day. Let me know your thoughts on this topic. I would love to hear from you. I hope you have found this video useful. Maybe it has encouraged you or inspired you in some way to think differently about people disliking you, understanding that, you know, it's okay. I hope you're all doing really well and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.